Hugo Calderano Hugo Moreno Borges Calderano is emerging as one of the rising stars in the modern world of table tennis. Born on 22 June 1996 in Rio de Janeiro, Hugo is a table tennis player from Brazil. In January 2022, he peaked at number three in the world rankings, becoming one of the greatest American players in the history of the sport. Today, we'll take a deeper dive into his career to find out more about who he really is. Before we begin though, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay notified for future uploads. Now, without further ado, let us get right into it. Hugo taught himself to read and write at the age of four, but his parents' challenges to do mental math were what truly piqued his interest. He developed keen analytical skills through these challenges that would help him later on. Hugo's athletic career began at age 10 when he began competing in volleyball and track and field meets. He was so talented that they even picked him up for the state squad. Hugo's genius can also be seen from his other hobbies, as his Q collection includes more than 70 pieces. He also prefers plant-based diets, which seems counterproductive, but Hugo doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all. Hugo was also one of those kids that was raised with table tennis. He started playing the sport when he was around 8 years of age, and he soon learned that he was a natural at it. At the age of 14, he was picked by the national Brazilian team, and he left his home city and moved to São Catano do Sul to practice. It was in 2013 when Hugo made history by being the first player to win a singles championship on both the ITTF Junior Circuit and the ITTF World Tour in the same year. Later on, when he won bronze at the 2014 Youth Olympic Games in China, he made headlines around the world especially considering that the Olympic table tennis medal was Brazil's first ever. Hugo has won titles in Latin America and the Pan American Games a total of four times. Hugo was a member of the Ochsenhausen first team in the German Bundesliga from 2014 until 2021. Calderano has been a top 10 table tennis player in the world for three years by February 2021, when he was rated sixth in the globe. Calderano is the top non-Asian in the global ranking, hence he will be the fourth seed in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo. After advancing to the quarterfinals of the table tennis tournament, he made history by being the first Brazilian and Latin American to do so by defeating the number 12 ranked player in the world, Jang Wu Jin of South Korea, four sets to three. His Olympic challenge was cut short in the quarterfinals when he lost to the eventual bronze medalist, Dmitry Ovcharov, with a score of 2-4. Hugo spent the 2021-2022 season with Fakel Gazprom Orenburg, a team that had previously won five consecutive European championships. Hugo has committed to playing table tennis in Japan for the 2022-2023 season with the Kinoshita Maester Tokyo, four-time defending champions of the T-League. With an eye toward competing on a wider global stage, Calderano stated in 2021 that he would be transferring from the German Bundesliga to the Russian Champions League. He would however remain in Germany and continue practicing at the same facility. He will just participate in a new league. Calderano competed in WTT Doha, the first world table tennis tournament. Calderano, who had a close first-round loss to compatriot Gustavo Psuboy, cruised to a second-round victory against Njehyun. Unfortunately, in the quarterfinals of the WTT contender event, he was defeated by Simon Gauzy. After failing to serve out the match at Deuce in the fifth game, he lost to Darko Georgic in the round of 16 of the WTT Star Contender Tournament. Despite the fact that it seemed for a while that Lin Yunju would be the fourth seed in the Olympics ahead of Calderano, after the results of WTT Doha, ITTF changed the seeding procedure in April so that Calderano would once again be the fourth seed. Calderano mentioned working with a mental coach until the coach passed away in a July interview with Japan Forward, citing mental toughness as one of his many strengths. After losing the WTT Contender Doha and WTT Star Contender Doha in March, Calderano made up for it by taking home the championship in WTT Star Contender Doha in September. Through the elimination of Liam Pitchford in the semifinals and Darko Georgic in the final, he was able to claim victory. Currently, Hugo is one of the best in the world and shows no signs of slowing down. 
That's all for today's video and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure you give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos appearing on your screen right now. We will see you there.